gave me an inspiration to continue forward in these Occupy movements and go to people and speak to people about community living and how that is the answer. Yes, taking to the streets, marching works in many ways, and creating inspiration and creating energy, part of the reality, inspiring people. But what really is going to change and what's really going to be direct against the 1% and the control is getting out of the system. And it's hard. It's hard to get out of the system because they want you trapped in the system. It's very hard to grow your own food, to get to get off the grid. I mean, it's just to start about that. We're all so dependent upon power. Uh, at Avalon Organic Eco Village, where I live, we are striving to get off the grid as much as possible. We have solar power. We have wind power. We practice a lifestyle that is not the opulent consumer American way. And so I feel confident that my daily lifestyle and my daily actions are a direct action against the oppression and the injustice of this country. And I feel that if thousands and if millions were to adopt this lifestyle, they too would be feeling the same way. When you feel confident and you feel empowered about how you live, how your life is your activism, and how every breath and every step in your life is activism, you can engage and empower other people. And that's what Occupy is about. That's what we need to do. Um, Gabriel of your rancher who, who started Spiritual Evolution with Neon Emerson Chase, who's another author, I highly recommend to go to the website, spiritualution.org, and read about it. Because at the website, there's many articles and there's many tools to help people learn about what they can do in their cities, in their towns, all over the world and country to begin the steps of community living. What does it take to be community, to be in a community? Well, what I tell people and what I believe is the first step is a, is a sacrifice of thought and a changing of consciousness. The first step is coming into a mindset of community living. What is that mindset? That mindset is stepping out of the American consumerism mindset <laughs> that we need to buy the latest gadget, that we need to have this clothing line, that we need to buy this CD, follow this celebrity. So many Americans are wasting so much time following celebrities. What are these celebrities doing for the American people? All they're doing is promoting greed, selfishness. It's ridiculous. So we need to find people who are not doing that and uplift them, follow them. Pick the people here. Those people are here right before us. Those leaders are here. It's us. It's occupied. Go ahead, clap, because it's us. Clap for yourself, clap for the people around you. If I could, you know, I said this uh, recently, I do prescribe to a very organic nature lifestyle, but I'm also online and I, I do have to exercise the use of Twitter and Facebook to spread the message. And I signed up for Twitter about two weeks ago for the first time. I, I've been on Facebook and I'm on Twitter now. And I was, I was just shocked at all, Twitter, the first people they recommend you to follow is all celebrities. Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And sadly, many Americans will just click and they'll follow these people. So even on a internet level, <laughs> many people are following these celebrities. That's bondage. That's bondage to the corrupt system. They don't have anything to say. So ignorance. And uh, apathy in this country is, is prominent. So the first step to community living and adopting the community consciousness is education. Getting away from the apathy, getting away from the ignorance, and really trying to educate yourself. I myself consider myself very une uneducated in many ways. I also consider myself very educated and, and very aware. But traveling the country, I'm learning things all the time. Learning new things 
that help me build my activism, help me understand why I shouldn't do this, why I shouldn't do that, because doing that supports this or supports that. Most of Americans don't have that mindset. They have a very, very minimal view of how things work in this country. They step in line and they follow the dominant culture. We need to start subcultures, not dominant cultures. Occupy is a subculture. Occupy is a culture of people who have transcended a consciousness that is prominent in this country of greed and selfishness. And that is what we need to do all across the country. There needs to be millions, millions of people come into this consciousness. True spirituality is love. It's caring for your brothers and your sisters. True spirituality is looking out for your brothers and sisters. Spirituality is not saying and labeling yourself and separating yourself. The spiritual revolution movement calls for people to get away from the isms, the dogma, and the labels. I'm a Christian, I'm a Buddhist, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Hindu, I'm this, I'm that. That automatically, whether we feel it or not, puts a subconscious or very conscious division between us, between people. No, I'm an ascending son of the Creator, and you are an ascending son and daughter of the Creator, and we are one planetary family. That is the message of spiritual evolution. That is the message of Gabriel Urantia. And if you can picture for a moment, if every single person adopted that mindset, how there would be change globally. How people who are going to kill somebody in the street because of religion, because of racism, because of classism, if they for a moment just adopted the mindset, this is my brother, this is my sister, we are both created beings. I do not wish this person harm. That one atrocity is avoided. Imagine that times a million all over the world. That's a spiritual revolution. That's a spiritual raising of consciousness and awareness, not of arms. Growing your own food. Talk about that for a few minutes and the importance of growing your own food. We live in a world where everything is meant in, uh, to control us. The food, people are forced to, to buy certain types of food. Organic food is not made available to people. It's expensive. It's hard to get whole foods and real foods in the city. You have to you know, find the specialty places. The importance of just having whole foods. I really encourage people to get into educating yourselves about food activism, the whole food movement. Occupy the food system, that's happening. Check it out. Occupy the food system is right on. Occupy Monsanto. If you're not familiar with Man Monsanto, get familiar with it because Monsanto is the 1%. They're right up there. They're taking control of the food system. They're, they want to control the seeds. They want to control the people because people have to eat. You control the food supply, you control the people. So there's so many ways that we are in bondage as a society. We're in bondage. And I really feel, and I prescribe to and live the lifestyle of community living as direct action of getting out of bondage. Zuccotti Park was an escape from the bondage. And that is why it drew so many people. And that's why it started and was the heartbeat of this movement. Because it was the first time something came about that freed people gave people a platform of understanding to be free. This is how we can do it. This is how we can be free. Because it's tough. We all have to get up and make money to feed ourselves, to house ourselves. And so people are wondering, how can I have an activist lifestyle? How can I do this when I have to get up, feed my child, make money, put gas in my car, and go to work? It's very, very hard. It's very hard to do by yourself. But with other people around you, with communal spirit, with comrades, with friends, with sharing, it can be done a lot easier. That's spirituality. Spirituality is not standing up on a soapbox and preaching and trying to save people and saying, you're going to hell because of this, or you're doing that, and separating yourself. Spirituality is picking your brother up and saying, let me help you. Spirituality is standing up for injustice. As a spiritual human being, as a man, it is my duty to stand up for injustice. It is my duty to say, this is right and this is wrong. This is wrong. If I'm not speaking out against the injustice that's taking place, I'm not living a spiritual lifestyle. If I'm allowing people to be hurt around me, if I'm allowing atrocities to take place, injustice to take place, I'm compromising. 
Every day, I compromise. I make mistakes. Every day, America compromises. Every single day. We need to come out of compromise. We need to take a stand. Take a stand against injustice. We were talking last night at the feminist GA about men. I was talking to the uh, co-founder, Jody, that the next step for men is to stand up against the injustice. Not just to realize it and witness it, but when something is happening, when a man is being patriarchal, to correct it as a man. To say, hey, look, that's not cool, man. That's the first step. That's not cool, brother. It's not cool to degrade your sister. It's not cool to see her as a sex object. It's not cool to go there. I shared with her because I'm a graphic designer. I worked in marketing for a little while, not in the sense of marketing products, uh, but basically marketing musicians. And being in that world and seeing that the world of marketing is atrocious. It's marketing sex objects. You sell a tire for a truck and you sell a woman with that tire. You want to sell, I mean, you can sell anything, you know? People take anything. You're selling light bulbs and they will use the sex appeal to sell anything. That's patriarchal society. That's messed up. That's not right. We all need to come to that consciousness and, and, and speak out against it. That's just one example of thousands of examples of things that are taking place all over this country that we need to be aware of and adjudicate. Adjudicate is a good word. Adjudicate evil. Adjudicate wrong. Make a stand. It is our duty. Again, my name is Amanon Delebo. I'm from Avalon Organic Gardens and Eco Village. We live in Arizona. If you want to learn more about us, check us out. Check out spiritualution.org. Spiritualution.org. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. I'm also a live streamer. I live stream these events. I really appreciate you guys listening. Gabo of your rancha, Star of the Spirit Revolution. You can find out more about us on our website. We're here to teach people and to help people come into a new age of cooperation, out of the age of competition and greed, and into an age of cooperation and spiritual revolution. Thank you.